hold that thought about how they recover because it's something I want to get into it about the big picture of college football after this because here we go. Number four ranks Tennessee. It's there <laughs> for the taking. You have it. Number one goes down to the SEC laughing stock. You're on the road against Arkansas. A blowout against Arkansas. Maybe you vault to number one in the country. And then all they do is, in all likelihood, save Sam Pittman's job. They get completely shut down on an offense that's been brilliant all year. Defense still played good, but they also had Arkansas's backup quarterback in. And then number four. Tennessee, Paul, goes down at Arkansas. Yeah, and Matt, I didn't predict this one right either, but let me tell you, this was easier to see um, because you just had this nagging feeling that that's a nasty place to be at night. Uh, 12 o'clock in the afternoon, no. Uh, and, and it proved to be, and this Tennessee team that we bought because they beat an absolutely miserable NC State team and, and, a, and a good Oklahoma team just yeah. was nowhere to be found. And Nico looked like a, a young player, not yeah. a Heisman candidate that so many tried to make him out to be. And it feels a little aberrational. Uh, it did save Sam Pittman's job. Uh, and he's another guy that's been so close. Uh, but he, I was thinking about, you know, maybe, maybe they're, they're a little better than I thought while watching that A&M game yesterday, because they played a, a, a one possession game to them. Uh, but but that that that's that's that, that, this Tennessee team reminded me a little bit of last year's team that yeah. they just and the year before remember the year that that uh, they they were so good they 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 let that game get away at South Carolina they don't travel well yeah and you, okay and I I want to ask Mullen about this next time I see him or just any former coach in general about does a team change like if they're you're around watching ball they know what's going on like. Do you ever go onto the field after just seeing and learning of an upset of Alabama? Be like, oh, we got to be careful. Like anything can happen, and then and then it happened. Like the one thing you couldn't have happen, yeah, happened. Like and I it just, was, it's just it was weird. And against Arkansas, it, it wasn't going to take much to beat them. Just manufacture no. some points, and they couldn't do it. And I just think they. Uh, yeah. We we're now finally at the point where we we quit making we quit making these these rash judgments and we did about Tennessee they were but it was easy to do I mean the NC State game was a fraud because there there was nothing to be learned but I I, I thought winning at, at Norman really told us a lot about this program and, and and now no now now we now here's what we know about Tennessee and I think that's the one thing Tennessee doesn't want you to know we know that they're capable of that. Yeah, because again, I've been on this show, I've been on your show, I've been on Sports Center, been on radio shows. Tennessee's the sleeper; they're the one you don't want to play. Right. They can be the most explosive team in the conference. They're dangerous because they're now playing defense. I don't see them being upset against Arkansas. The meat of their schedule's on the way. Now, all this does, Paul, is this really just <laughs> it really opens up the conversation in the in the coming weeks when these games really start to get big with teams like Tennessee, with teams like Alabama. We're like, oh, but. We know what they're capable of. We yeah. know that they have the ability to show up and not show up. Yeah, and and, and usually in, in, in most years that this would be possibly a bye week or something. It's not. Uh, Tennessee has Florida, and yeah, again, Florida. I, I'm not going to waste any more time on them. We've talked about them earlier, but it's it's not a great game to have before the Alabama game because it is it is rivalry, uh, and at this point. You don't know. You don't really know what you're doing, and your your program is is just taking a a, a shock. Um, so, I mean, that that's the problem for both Alabama and and Tennessee. They have these kind of pesky pesky games next week against South Carolina and Florida, two teams they should just destroy. Yeah. But now you're wondering about their psyche, not the other team. And by the way, Florida looked good against UCF in a yeah. game two weeks ago. I thought Malzahn and company would would win, and and that wasn't the case. How much- 